Since its discovery in late 2019, the infectious disease caused by SARS-CoV-2 has killed more than 3.5 million people and counting. Testing individuals for SARS-CoV-2 is important to prevent the virus from spreading, but testing may not be as accessible in countries with limited resources. Keeping with the goals of the United Nations 2030 Agenda, an interdisciplinary team of researchers at SciLife Lab and Ames are dedicated to developing simple, rapid, and sensitive SARS-CoV-2 testing methods on the path to promoting good health and well-being in society. In a new publication in the journal Lab on a Chip, the team has developed a new SARS-CoV-2 testing device that is quick, cheap, portable, effective, and even readable by a smartphone, all of which could help increase SARS-CoV-2 testing in resource-limited populations. The device works by combining multiple techniques into one small, integrated platform and can be used to detect SARS-CoV-2 in nasopharyngeal swab samples which are commonly used in more established testing methods. The instrument uses several methods to boost signals from molecules of interest. In this case, RNA corresponding to SARS-CoV-2, so that the virus can be reliably detected in samples even at low concentrations. First, the authors used loop-mediated isothermal amplification, or LAMP. LAMP is a cost-effective technique that mixes biomolecules called primers with swab samples so they can make copies of certain nucleic acid fragments corresponding to SARS-CoV-2. The authors could make as many as 1 billion copies per reaction, and they found that they could detect as few as 100 copies of a synthesized SARS-CoV-2 molecule in 10 microliters of solution within 30 minutes. This result is in accordance with the requirements set by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Next, to further increase the signal from coronavirus samples when miniaturized into a microfluidic system, the authors concentrated the amplified SARS-CoV-2 molecules using specially modified beads. These beads captured the desired molecules while letting unwanted molecules flow into solution. Using centrifugation, the researchers passed the solution through the bead several times to maximize the number of target molecules captured. To measure viral molecules in their system, the authors used a green fluorescent dye that selectively attaches to the viral nucleic acid. After centrifugation, the channel containing the solution and the beads were illuminated with a laser. They captured the results using a smartphone camera and quantified signal intensities using open source software. Using their method, the authors could determine the presence of SARS-CoV-2 in a nasopharyngeal swab sample in less than 45 minutes using components that cost less than $200 total. Compatible with any smartphone, this technique will increase accessibility to testing for all, especially in resource-limited populations, where the choice between expenses and health is not an easy one.